Hi everyone, this is my unboxing of the Tin Audio Tin Hi Fi T3, which is this package here. Okay, and another earphone, I believe, but I don't know what's inside this smaller one. So I will start uh, opening these and then these. And Tin Audio T3 are a sample review which uh, Linsol sent me. Uh, I will uh, review them on uh, my website and also on Simply Audio File, which is uh, another blog, audio file blog, uh, that I am um, that I'm in. So this could be some uh, B keys, B, Q, E, Y, Z, or uh, nice HCK uh, earphone, I don't know, but uh, we will see together. So I will put uh, this apart from for a second. Okay, um, sorry for my English uh, because uh, this is my first uh, video in English uh, and I, I'm trying to improve so if you don't like the content just ignore the video or uh, leave a dislike but if you don't like my English please uh, be kind because I'm improving okay so let's start with this one Okay, so this is uh, a nice HCK uh, P3 uh, pair of uh, IEMs, uh, which is, uh, I believe, a hybrid. Mm. Yes, it's uh, two balanced armatures and one dynamic driver, uh, pretty mainstream uh, configuration. Um, yes, uh, we will see what's inside the box and uh, the accessories and so on. So you open the box like this. And you find Okay, this is a nice case. Uh, I have one identical for my nice uh, HCK M6 and this is also a rebranded uh, case of the Yinyu V2 one and other Yinyu models so inside we find uh, some memory foam tips like uh, complies the IEMs with the cable which is identical to uh, the uh, nice uh, HCK M6 one and the beautiful buds they have uh, a plastic body like uh, the KZ uh, ES4 for example and this uh, um, this is a beautiful color uh, translucent blue so here it is some other uh, silicon tips so three pair of silicon wide bore tips as you can see it's a wide bore and here we have some double flange uh, light blue and white tips so 
pretty cool uh, accessories and we will uh, test this earphone and see uh, if it's any good or something okay but this is the main character of this unboxing because this is the most important and uh, awaited uh, content so I believe there there is only a pair of T3 but the the package is big so it could contain uh, some other earphones I don't I don't know let's see okay it actually contains just uh, just the t3s this is a very very big box uh, the t2 pros one was uh, really smaller you can see uh, through the, the the white box the buds themselves the iams T3, Tin Hi-Fi, the T2 were Tin Audio, the T2 Pros were Tin Hi-Fi, and this is uh, Tin Hi-Fi, the, the actual name, so sorry, this uh, have a plastic Okay, you open it up like that and you find another box inside that's not so easy to take out. Okay, this is actually uh, way bigger than the T2 Pros one which was identical to my Daniel Wendington watch uh, case and you can see through the this plastic uh, shell and the buds are there uh, you open it up like a book and you find the buds with uh, memory foam tips uh, in white the design is actually very similar to the T2 Pros uh, it may differ for something we will see then there's a really good cable I did like the T2 Pro cable but it was too thin this is very thick very solid we have a strap a branded strap with a thin hi-fi brand and uh, all the mm, inserts are metal and the plug is uh, gold plated with the same texture as uh, the T2 Pros and I, I actually really like this this is a chin slider uh, my T2 Pros didn't have a chin slider but some uh, people had the, these in the cable so strange I like this we also find uh, some other uh, foam tips, smaller foam tips and I like this because the light blue foam uh, of the T2 Pros were too 
big for me on the T2 pros so I put them in another pair of IEMs um, I like uh, I like this color too we have some uh, small bore silicon tips three pairs and some wide bores silicon tips uh, three so a good uh, uh, quantity of uh, of ear tips a very good cable look look at that logo look at the MMCX connectors it's really really well presented and here we have uh, an instruction manual in uh, English so this is the warranty this is uh, some conservation notes and uh, in Chinese too so pretty solid uh, uh, unboxing experience I would like to have uh, in the next model uh, a case a current case because uh, um, I like these but I can't uh, bring uh, uh, something like this with me every time so a carrying case even a cheap one uh, it would be great for me uh, you can find these uh, tin audio tin hi-fi t3s on Masterop for 59 dollars us dollars right now dropped uh, for um, less than a week then on the 11th i believe of uh, february you will um, uh, you will find these on amazon and uh, aliexpress but i'm not sure uh, about that uh, for 69 us dollars so um, it's it's actually a, a really good price because this cable is better than my uh, aftermarket uh, u6 core copper plated one uh, which I got for 20 euros this is uh, a stock cable and it's amazing for me really amazing um, yeah so uh, if you want to uh, wait for them to arrive on amazon.com uh, the seller is LSR direct uh, on Aliexpress it's uh, DD Audio Store, uh, you will find them on linsoul.com too, which um, is my uh, contact for this. So, uh, subscribe for other contents. I will publish the review of these, um, I hope, next, next week or two weeks. I have uh, a lot of reviews to do in this period so please be uh, kind <laughs> and uh, leave a like if you did like the content leave a dislike if you didn't like it so I could improve uh, my skills and my English too uh, thank you and uh, see you okay uh, I didn't uh, say something in uh, the previous shoots so this is uh, my Daniel Wellington uh, watch case and as you can see it's identical to my tin hi-fi t2 pros one and it's uh, it's a nice uh, nice touch uh, what's um, different is just the color but this uh, box is uh, is different it's way bigger you see oops way bigger so uh, I didn't mention another thing 
which is the T2 pros here were two dynamic drivers uh, one 10 millimeter and one 6 millimeter and these new T3s are hybrids uh, one uh, dynamic 10 millimeter and one nose armature driver with uh, which is a more mainstream choice but uh, I believe it's better because uh, I didn't like uh, the T2 Pros because of the treble, the harshness, the sibilance, mm, the, the treble was too enhanced, too, too, too much for me. So uh, they needed less treble and more bass. Uh, we will see if the T uh, trees are better that way, and the design is similar. Uh, it uh, it seems a little different, a little bit different because of the foam tips, but the the shell itself it's uh, it's very similar. Uh, Okay, we will see in a comparison, a direct comparison in the future. Uh, so, see you.